Here are some of the well-known facts about Dalmatian. The breed is very versatile and has been used for many purposes over the years, but they are possibly best known for their skills as coaching dogs. The canines get along famously with horses, making them the ideal dog to run alongside carriages. The helpful dells warded off stray dogs, guarded the coach at stops, and most importantly, kept the horses calm. This job eventually translated to the firehouse where Dalmatians would run behind fire trucks. Their distinct features also make them a great mascot. And as a bonus, they're also excellent ratters and keep firehouses pest-free. Dalmatians are distinct for their piebald pattern. Usually, these spots are black or brown, but sometimes they can be lemon, blue, or brindle. Every Dell is different, but most have these marks all over their body. If you open up a Dell's mouth, you can even find spots in their mouth. Despite being covered in spots in adulthood, pups generally don't grow their trademark spots until about 4 weeks. Hearing defect in Dalmatians is however a lesser known fact. If your Dell seems to be ignoring you, it could be because it cannot hear you. Around 15 to 30 percent of all Dalmatians are inflicted with deafness as a result of their spotted markings. In this specific deafness, multiple genes are thought to be involved. This means the dogs can be completely deaf or only deaf in one ear, and deaf parents can have offsprings that are not deaf if all the associated genes are not inherited by the offspring. However, Breeding deaf dogs, even those with deafness only in one ear, is not recommended. Inside a dog's ear, there is an organ called the organ of corti. This converts sound waves into electrical impulses that travel to the brain and are processed as sound. In this type of genetic defect, the organ responsible for the conversion starts to degenerate in the first few weeks of life. Breeding dogs with this coat can lead to a lack of mature melanocytes, which are the melanin-producing cells in the inner ear. The role of melanocytes and the reason why some dogs experience hearing loss in only one ear and some in both are poorly understood. Following the degeneration of the organ of corti, the cochlear nerve also degenerates and the lack of auditory stimulation results in failure of development of the auditory centers in the brain. Without this, dogs can become hard of hearing. Dogs with larger patches of black are less likely to be deaf. Normally, puppies begin hearing around the age of 2 weeks, definitely hearing by the age of 5 weeks, unless they're deaf. Dells with blue eyes are more likely to be deaf than brown-eyed dogs, if a Dell has one blue and brown eye, he's likely to be deaf in the ear on the blue-eyed side. Dells with primarily white coats and little spotting are also more likely to suffer deafness. Those dogs that only experience hearing loss in one ear are likely to be able to live a normal life. It has been found that females are also more likely to be affected than their male counterparts. To know for sure, Conduct some basic tests and observations to determine if your puppy is deaf. If he ignores loud noises such as clapping, startles easily when you come behind him, sleeps excessively, or doesn't respond when you call or speak to him, suspect hearing loss. However, puppies with partial hearing might also respond in ways similar to completely deaf animals. In order to tell if your puppy can hear at all, take him for professional testing by a veterinarian. The most common hearing test conducted by veterinarians is the Brainstem Auditory Evoked Response or BAER, which can test puppies aged 6 weeks and up. BAER detects any electrical activity in the puppy's cochlea and the brain's hearing pathways. The computer testing produces peaks and valleys on the screen, but a flat line will indicate a deaf ear. Find a trainer who can teach you and your dog hand signals of the voice commands. Make sure any fencing in your dog's yard or run is secure and escape proof. Socialize your dog as much as possible. It takes work, 
but you can still enjoy a wonderful if deaf companion. Deaf animals may be difficult to arouse from sleep, may be more aggressive than normal little mates, and may be very vocal. They are difficult to train, but with patience and proper effort, deaf dogs can make good pets. Comment down below if you found this video informative and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.